Hey what's up guys, your boy Dunks here. Today I've got a nice little gameplay video brought to you by myself and this is going to be on Bakara and Kill Confirmed and I'm going to be going 75 to 1 baby. And this is going to include a M-O-A-B, Mob, Moabia, Moab. I don't know how you want to pronounce it but probably not like Moab, more like Mob. <laughs> I'm going to be using the gold ACR purely because it's golden and I like the ACR and I get my death there and then I get 75 kills. I'm using Assault, Predator, what else am I using? Reaper and a Pivlo. Nearly forgot there and stab you in the back. And, 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 and today I won't be talking about the gameplay, I will be talking about a childhood memory of mine. <laughs> It's going to be a school story. You guys seem to, well, the very few that have commented and gave me some feedback have said that um, they did prefer the stories of, like, real life stories I've told before. So, um, I'm going to talk about one where I was in school. It was in year nine. <laughs> I remember this day well. And, um, me and one of my friends that I recently got close to, it had only been a couple of weeks, but we got, like, really close and we were, like, awesome friends and we were almost in every single class together. So, we would sit next to each other and have a good laugh and. We would do work because we were like we were smart, so we were both smart. And we were doing our work, but we did like to have some fun as well. So we were like running around the class and playing duck duck goose and all this in the class. It always does some hilarious times. And um, when we had a substitute teacher this one time in English, um, he we were um we were like playing catch each other. We had this rubber, and <laughs> it was such <laughs> it's so funny. It's um we had this rubber, so we were like throwing it to each other across the room. But there was also a teaching assistant there as well as the substitute teacher. So we had to keep shoving it to each other and catching it without them realising or noticing. And fuck me, that javelin was close, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't know how they can kill me. So we were chucking this rubber to each other and we managed to do, um, we were trying to do it like hot potatoes. So we had to do it as quick as possible without teacher realising. So we were like getting our mates to um, distract the teacher, turn around quickly so we could chuck it. And then um, they kept getting suspicious. <laughs> and I tried <laughs> she had very it was a woman this is the and um she had turned around very very quickly and I was like stuff this you only <laughs> you only live once so I like chucked it as soon as she turned around and um I chucked it hard because I was aiming to hit him pretty hard of it because um he choked it quite hard at me last time and it hit me in the head <laughs> which kind of hurt because it's a rubber and um, I chucked it and it hits the back of her head <laughs> my aim was all the way like stuck to my hand and it hit her straight in the <laughs> head and she was absolutely clueless who it was because we had like a it was like um, a semicircle layout of the room so the tables and chairs so um, it wasn't like easily Viewable because it just hit us in the side of the head, and she just goes, Oh, who chucked that rubber? Oh, oh well, she didn't say who chucked the rubber, she says, Oh, he's just throwing something at me. And I was like, What do you mean? Somebody chucked something at you, miss? <laughs> Obviously, because we didn't want her to know it was me, and nobody was going to brass us up because it was so funny, and everyone was trying to contain the laughter, and we did it really well. I mean, considering I cannot keep laughter in for more than about a second, I'm a very smiley laugh laughing person, and um, I find it very difficult. So I had to keep looking away. I couldn't keep eye contact with her. Really couldn't. So um, I was there, like looking around. Like, I don't think it was anyone here. Are you sure? Are you sure? It yes, it felt like a stone hitting me in the head. I think it may be cut us. Oh dear, I just burst out laughing so much. I was like, Miss, it wasn't a stone, it was this rubber. And she goes, It certainly was not. And I felt like a stone, it was like a rock hitting me in the head. <laughs> so she sends me out of the classroom. <laughs> and oh, it, this isn't the end of the story, it's, it gets worse. This is about where it's like funny, but it's not funny. So, um, then. You had to stand outside the classroom for about 5-10 minutes and you had to reflect on your bad behaviour and think about how you can apologise to the teacher or oh, blah blah blah. And we were just like sat out there having a bit of a dust, you know, outside the window of the class just pulling faces to each other and all this image all this stuff. And um, the head teacher walks past and he's going, so why are you standing outside? And on the spot I was like, I oh, 
This is not going to reflect well. I do not want to tell him that I have just been sent out of the classroom because he would often take you into his office and sit you there for about an hour and then just make you sit there throughout your whole break or lunch or whatever. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. So let on. I was like, oh, what can I say? And I was like, um, well, we're doing a role play of Shakespeare and. I'm basically just rehearsing out here and the rest of the class have to try and figure out which character I am. So he was he was buying at the time and I was like, oh my god, and he's like, but you haven't even got a script. I was like, oh shit, that is a good point. I was like, well, this is the interesting part about it. We have to do it without script as we're supposed to be doing it on stage later on in the year. and. Our teacher thinks that if we get an early start now, it may be good to reflect it on the future. So if we start, you know, trying to remember all the words and everything now, we'll be able to pick it up earlier. Not earlier, later. Why did I say earlier? I meant later. So later on when we're trying to um, do it on stage. Which we actually did have to do, coincidentally. Which was bullshit. <laughs> so that was interesting. And um, he actually bought it. And then... um. That was the end of that. I was like, oh, totally off the hook. Oh, I'm so glad about that. And then I get sent back in, and um, I was like, yes, in. Look at the kill feed. Triple pillow. And I was like, yes, off the hook, baby. <laughs> get in. That's just a typical little day story for me. <laughs> uh, so I was really pleased about managing to get off the hook and everything for that. And, um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, um, I'll talk about the gameplay. Oh, oh yawn. I'll talk about the rest of the gameplay for the video since it's not very, it's not got much longer to go now. So, um, I've actually speeded up all three of my Reapers. I think I get three. I've just sped them up because, um, I'm not very good with them. I don't get many kills and they're not the funnest to just watch normally. And there you go, boys and girls. MOAB 75 to 1. That is a pretty nice KD. <laughs> I got sent a message saying I was a hacker after this. I'm proud to say I am a hacker. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like to hear more Lifetime Stories, give me a comment. If not, say, see you later, guys.